Welcome back to In the Garden. I am joined with Jordan from Grange Co-op and today we are talking about seeding some indoor plants. Now right here we have cabbage and mustard mm -hmm. and we have missed the mark on sowing your plants during the fall time so this is going to be a great option for winter months and growing these inside. So where do we, or where should we start? Sure, well, to direct sow outside, we need warmer temps, nights about 50 degrees or more, and those are long gone. But we can still play catch up and get a crop of plants that either you're gonna enjoy for the first chunk of fall, or some of your options that are gonna be harvestable and towards the end of late winter, early spring. The big consideration when it comes to germinating seeds is they need temperature and they need humidity. So something like this can kind of count for both. It's going to trap in a little bit of warmth, but if you have a particularly cold area, you're going to start these inside, or you know the window light isn't enough. They do make seed mat heaters that'll raise up the temperature a little bit, and that's usually enough, especially for your winter veggies and leafy crops that don't need a lot to get going. Okay, so we do have this product. These are cow pots. Can you mm -hmm. give a little explanation of what these guys do? Yeah. So when you're thinking about your seeds, obviously you're not going to grow a head of cabbage in your kitchen to harvest in January. Eventually, it's going to have to go outside. So we wanted some consideration for, well, what are you gonna start them in that makes transplanting easy? Uh, Jiffy starts these little fibrous uh, six packs or cow pots that are actually made of recycled manure are great options. You're simply gonna cut them up, plant them straight in when your seedlings are ready to go. Other people are much more familiar using and reusing these plastic six packs that you'll fill with any potting soil or seed starting mix. Anything works, just consider how you're gonna transplant it before you start loading these up. All right, and so since these are indoors, obviously we won't have the rain to water them. Mm -hmm. What's the best amount and how often when it, should we do when it comes to watering these guys? Uh, the plastic covers will do a pretty good job of keeping these humid and watered enough, but every once in a while when you, the soil feels dry, you're gonna want to give it a quick little rinse. If you're growing this near the kitchen, it's not too difficult to run the tap on low and water it, but you might have a watering can handy or if the weather's nice, take it outside for a quick shower. All right, awesome. Is there anything else people should know or you should highlight about seeding these indoor plants? Not so much for the indoor plants, but another consideration for people who aren't really into the veggies as much or maybe deal with too many deer, and they are more focused on their wildflowers and their perennials, is that now's a great time to actually sow those outside. A lot of your perennials need stratification, which is several months of cold weather to trigger a biological reaction to get them to germinate. We can cheat and do that inside. Some people will refrigerate, some people will plant them really early in the season, or we can just throw these out in the, right now, dirt, somewhere where they're gonna get rain, label them so we know what's growing and let nature take its course. All right, awesome. Well, if you guys want to learn more about all of these guys, we have our little indoor seeding plants and everything else, of course, you can head to a Grange Co-op store and learn from the experts, or you can head to our website at kdrv.com. Thank you so much for joining us in the garden.